give me a hell yeah. I said, give me a hell yeah. Welcome to the North Star Studio here in Bible, Arkansas. My name is Lenny Middlebrooks, and I've always gotten a question about belt collecting. Why do you do it? What are they? And all sorts of various questions about belt collecting in general and why I do what I do. There's a ton of belt collectors all over the country, matter of fact, all over the world that do it. And I got into it pretty much on a birthday deal when I, I was 45 and uh, I wanted something different for my birthday and there was a store in Memphis called The Main Event. And I uh, hooked up with the owner whose name was James Woods and uh, that's where I got my first belt at. That was in 1995. Since then, I've had quite a few. So on this video, I'm going to show my collection and give you some insights on belt collecting. So let's go to the belt room and we'll do it. What? Alrighty, this is my other studio. And as you can see, I, I collect a little bit more memorabilia also, shirts and what have you. So let's go down the line here and show you what we got. Now this first one here is the Stone Cold Smoking Belt, Smoking Skull Belt, I'm sorry. And uh, one thing about belt collecting, uh, there are two millimeter belts, there are four millimeter belts. All these on this wall are two millimeter, meaning they're two millimeters thick. And I believe I got that one back around 1998 or so. The next one here, next to Ric Flair here, is the uh, Big Gold. And that's another two millimeter belt. And I got that, I think, around the same time that I did the Smoking Skull. Uh, and once again, it's two millimeters thick, but it's a pretty stout belt. Moving right along, being a fan of ECW, I had the ECW World Belt, and uh, I was a big fan of ECW back in the day. So, uh, and one thing about belt collecting, for me anyway, is about the memories of uh, what you used to watch and what have you. So those are really memories that me and I really enjoyed ECW back in the day. The next one here, next to the other Rick, is the WCW United States Championship belt. I got that one probably around 1998, 99. Um, and like I said, all these are two millimeter thick belts and uh, I really don't let a whole lot of people put their hands on them, but uh, that's the WCW belt. The only one, I would like to have the WCW World belt, and that's on my wish list. Here's some of the shirts here I collect. Now, getting over here, this, was the, this is the belt that I consider to be the last great American made belt. It's the uh, TNA world championship belt uh, I got that a few years ago on a good deal so uh, I figured I'd go ahead and get that one too the difference between this one and the ones that we saw earlier is that now we're moving up into four millimeter belts which means it's four millimeters thick so you can imagine it's a pretty heavy belt but uh, I think it's one of the best designs of the belt that were out there at the time Okay, I'm going to switch over here to this wall here because this is uh, one that I picked up recently. This is a belt made by Fandu in China. It's called the uh, Andre and uh, it's a very impressive belt. Very detailed as you can see. Very detailed and uh, it's a, uh, I, I think for anybody that's collecting belts, this should be one on your list. If you don't have one yet, you should get one. A lot of folks think, think these are very expensive, 
not necessarily so. There are a lot of guys out there trade them. There's a lot of guys out there that you can probably get one at a good price. So I would say go for a Pondre as they're called if you can. The next one is another big goal from, from my fan do. This was the first one I got from them. This is the uh, this is another big goal. The difference between this one and the one that was on the other wall is that this one is four millimeters. Actually, I believe this is eight millimeters thick. Very thick belt and very detailed. The one thing I like about Van Dunes, uh products is that they are highly detailed and it's a pretty big belt, pretty stout belt. The third one, the third fine gray I have is my latest one, and this is the old school WWWF world belt. And uh, as you can see, this one is about eight millimeters. It is extremely detailed. Look at the detail on that. It is extremely detailed. It is a hardy, hardy belt. And uh, I would stack this up against anything that's out there right now. It is. Uh, extremely impressive extreme okay the last of my four millimeters is the old school nwa belt if you are a belt collector if you don't have an nwa belt you're not really collecting it's the granddaddy it's the measuring stick of all title belts that design goes back to the early 70s and uh, it is still as impressive now as it was then. So definitely, actually my first belt I got was an NWA belt and I gave that away to my cousin and that's when I got this one here. The next one going down is the old school AWA World Championship belt. Of course, I was a big fan of the AWA back in the day just like I was the uh, NWA. So when I had a chance, that was definitely one on my list. And uh, it's two millimeter, it's four millimeter, I'm sorry. And uh, it's, it's quite a nice belt. And very hard to find these days. So I really just leave it in the case. I don't let anybody mess with it. Next one down is the WWF World Championship. They call this one the Winged Eagle. And uh, it's also a good belt. It's also two millimeter, by the way. Uh, I have several that are two millimeter. This is one of them. But it's a very detailed belt. And uh, very nice looking. The last one down is the, what they call the Attitude Belt. It's the WWF Attitude Belt. And uh, it goes back to 1998, 99, uh, the uh, Attitude Era in the WWF and all these belts that uh, I have as I said they represent uh, a great time in wrestling and uh, that is one reason that I collect them. The reason that they're in the order that they are is because the NWA was around before all of them were so it's, it's always going to be at the top. It is the top belt to get. And that's a uh, look at some of the uh, items that I have. Well, actually, all of them. So, as I said, if you're into collecting, there are a lot of groups on Facebook that uh, you can get into that specifically deal with belt trading, belt collecting, belt selling. Uh, you can get in touch with FanDu at FanDu Belts, Championship Belts. They're online. They're also on Facebook. Uh, very reasonable prices for the belts that I showed you. A lot of people ask how much are they, which is really none of your business, but they're very reasonably priced. If you're into it, and if you're really into it, you can find some great deals online. So check them out, and uh, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll catch you on the flip side. Yeesh.